What's up, church? I'm excited to uh, continue through this reading. Uh, we're landing in Philippians chapter 2 today, one of my favorite um, sections of Scripture to, to teach about and talk through. Um, very, very um, appropriate for um, life in general and especially life as, as we know it right now. So I want to read, jumping in, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. It says this, Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also the interest of others. And so, man, it's basically saying if in your relationship with Christ, if coming to know Christ, if you've uh, felt any love, if you've had any fellowship with the Holy Spirit that Christ has sent, basically, if, if anything good has come out of your relationship, then fulfill the joy of Christ by having um, the same mind. Be like minded with other Christians who've experienced the same thing. Love. Put yourself after other people. Um let nothing be done through your selfish ambition or conceit, but in, in lowliness of mind. So no matter how important the thing is that you are thinking about, let that come second to others' needs. And I know that's tough sometimes because, you know, our needs, we have to provide uh, food and clothing for ourselves. We have needs that we have to meet, but um, the things that come after that, let those be second to what others' needs are. Um, love others as, as Christ loved the church. And then uh, in Philippians 2, he continues on and, and says, have the mind of Christ. I uh, mean, what an example of humility um, to leave leave the throne uh, in heaven to come and be who we needed. He put himself second. Um, he decided to be, uh, he humbled himself to death, um, which means he, he gave himself over to death. He didn't have to do that. He came here as a servant, as um, the the chief of servants, the example of what it means to be a servant. He was our example, and we're supposed to have the same mind that he did. None of us are kings, right? None of us are God. So we don't have to give up godhood in order to serve and love others. Um, and that's what Jesus said. He said, I'm still fully God, but I'm going to come as a man. I'm going to live exactly as a man lives so that you can see how to be humble, so that you can see how to have the right kind of mindset in your life. So Jesus was the example. And man, what an example he was to show us what it means to serve and to serve without putting his wants uh, or even his needs um, first. I mean, what a challenge this week uh, for you guys to lean into. Humility, be like-minded, right? Let's join together and be humble, loving each other in such a way that people look at us and say, what the heck is going on with them? Why are they putting others first so much? Why do they never think about themselves? And hopefully people will be enlightened and they will see Jesus Christ in and through us and we'll get an opportunity to tell them, man, give glory to God. Every, anything good that I have comes from God. And uh, just be thankful that you have that opportunity. I love you guys. I uh, can't wait to um, to get to see you in person. I'm recording this on Saturday for Sunday that you're watching it now. So I'm excited about seeing you in church tomorrow, although today is Sunday. Kind of. All right. Love you guys.